Well, if you're looking for work, you may decide you have to go back to school, but that can take time and money. Our exclusive quick job series focuses on training programs that can put you back to work as quickly as possible. Tonight, job team reporter Maria Catula shows us what it takes to begin a career in teleproduction technology. Joseph has, has set up the camera there. The gizmos, gadgets, cables and cameras lured John Kaminsky into the teleproduction technology program at York Tech after he got laid off. I worked in the warehouse and loading and unloading trucks. But the teamwork. That camera has to be at the eye level of the performer. Is why he'll never second guess his decision to enroll in this one year diploma program. Audio production, video production, editing, studio, lighting. Kaminsky wants a job as a TV news editor. And not just jobs at TV news stations, but also production houses, graphic designers, corporate America, and even government. Let's say the mayor wants to get the word out and he's going to sit in a comfortable setting like so. And our students are able to record that, edit it, make it look nice, add the graphics to it, and put it out to the public to see. The large banks that we have in Charlotte, they have their own uh, studios and they have their own productions. And the pay range? From $15 to $30 an hour. If you're a, free, a freelancer, then you can earn a lot more, $35 to $50 an hour. Instructor Sharab Masheri says his classes are changing with the economy, and so is he. When I have a 58-year-old uh, student sitting in my office who was working at a local company for 25 years and finally got laid off and is coming to my class each and every, uh, every day to learn something, I would like to be there, and I would like to give that person my best shot. In Rock Hill, Maria Catula, News Channel 36. And if you would like to learn more about the teleproduction technology program or any other quick jobs we've followed over the past few months, go to our website, WCNT.com, and click on Job Team under the News tab. 